What is up? This is your boy Anecdotal, and today is the end of Deku and the commencement of World Hero Mission Shoto. Now, he looks beautiful, doesn't he? So cool. All right. So as you know, you can go ahead and make your guesses. Yeah, bam, Deku. Did not get him. Nope, not at all. Nope. Did not, I didn't pull for him, but for the two weeks that he was out, I didn't get him. And as you can see in the rankings, uh, I plummeted all the way to 18. Look at that, man. We got we got a triple S plus. We got some triple S's. We got some double S's. Your boy, your boy is here, solitary, all by himself, uh, ranked 18th with a with a single S Deku. That will not be the same for Shoto. So there are two like possibilities that I don't want. One of them is to have half a character. That would be the saddest thing ever because you can't do anything. All right. So if I would have half a Shoto, which would be like an S and a half, or half a Bakugo, S and a half, not to SS, that would be dream crushing because it'd be useless. I don't really gain anything from that except for a very small power bump that's going to mean nothing. All right? Just like, what is it? Like maybe 50, 50 to 100 BP or something? I don't know, man. I'm making up numbers. But I don't want that to happen. But let's go ahead and play the events. This part, pretty cool right it's the same little guys i really have to watch the movie so if you're wondering hey man why did this come out and i'm like hey the dvd came out the dvd for not only the sub but the dub version came out so now you could watch this this movie dubbed while playing the game bam all right i'm probably gonna do something like that uh in the future and then comment down below if you want to see it i'm going to review the movie while playing with world hero mission characters it's gonna be something along those lines comment down below if there's something you're interested in it's gonna happen anyway <laughs> all right and as always for this part of the event where you have to fight the boss make sure to check all the way from the bottom to the top that way you don't need to figure out what numbers to click and which ones kind of get faded off this boss is a little bit more annoying because it has like a, a Hawkeye kind of stun thing going on here. So you want to make sure to use some active cards so you don't have to deal with that. Or you can just dodge and then do your attacks. The thing about World Hero Mission, oh my gosh. The thing about All Might is that you actually got to hold the attack so you can do the stronger one. It's kind of annoying. And he keeps interrupting himself on auto. It is really annoying that he interrupts himself on auto. Man, he would do just so much more damage if he always did the All Might smash thing where he like creates basically a mountain of rubble and then he does his like super strong punch into the tornado but yeah the cool thing about this one is that you get a little over 2000 which means you only got to pay like this four times and then you get head of himazarian which i completely destroyed i um i combined this card to some other cards so i can get other six star cards but you might be wondering he blocks an attack every 20 seconds is there any point of that yes yes there is man the next to last hero raiding mission so you know what don't get rid of this before i told you guys get rid of this but well, check this out man here you go obviously i've already beaten this before but here i am chilling with froppy i don't know why my dodge isn't working so i'm so used to having a directional dodge but i found that just clicking the dodge button is more consistent sometimes like i don't know it just reads it better and i know i'm sounding like like these horrible gamers that are losing because their controllers don't work but i'm telling you that's what it is man but yeah you want to know what's funny the poison got it if i had had head of him on if it was equipped and i had this card i would have just beat him because one of those three shock waves that would have hit me would have been blocked because of that card and that's that's his purpose his whole it, the whole purpose of that card is for the next to last hero rating stage so go ahead man get that and then enjoy being able to beat that or you know just being able to dodge once will get you there but uh, especially if you don't really have high bp and you can't just sort of steamroll bosses you can always go ahead and just have that equipped and not worry about dodging at all which is honestly the cheat code and easy way of playing this game is to not have to worry and just attack which is what i live by so <laughs> so go ahead and do that and look at that man i'm only 900 pieces away from getting nine more fragments to get najiri to double s so uh, if you, the other thing is my world hero mission bakugo got replaced in my super co-op team by najiri so again i have no real reason to get to get my bakugo to double s because 
Shoto is better. And if you didn't know why Shoto is better, I think I might as well just show you. So we're going to go ahead and go into training. And as we just saw, his attack and crit rate or attack and crit damage, depending if it's the flame or the like ice quirk that's really activating everything here, will increase. For me, I don't really care which one. But do you see this Q move? This Q move not only sucks everyone into place in Super Co-op, but also does amazingly large amounts of damage. And he kind of stays there for a pretty long time. And it only takes like one or two attacks for him to get there. So he's like super, super good. He's like pretty high S tier as long as he gets his attack off. He usually does get his attacks off. Unless, you know, Froppy's always stunning him or something. And don't forget about the shop. You can double S his EX card. So you could do totally break through that card. And you could have like a, I don't know, man, tier two version of the card. And then we got those free five sort of banner non-banner s character tiers people and then for the new players you can go ahead and get these gray gray alloys which are good for you guys but let's go ahead let's go ahead and summon i'm gonna say on the last day of the event <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and summon shoto because i really don't want i don't want an ss bakugo man because the jury my Najiri is about to be ss pretty soon if not later on today in two to three days you know, because I'm not really farming hero rating right now. I mean, I'm not farming hero trials right now because I want to make sure to actually get the card from the event. But yeah, man. So stay tuned to that and for the movie review for World Hero Missions. But if I do get him right now, I'm going to summon immediately tomorrow and that video will come out. But yeah, that didn't, that didn't happen, is it? Yeah, okay. So no luck there. Right now, Rhodey is what I really, really want. If I somehow get double S... For Shoto, I'm going to throw the rest of my hero coins on on Rhodey if I can get Shoto. I got 22 here summons. As you can see, I'm at 16. That means there were two weeks for Deku. I have like 60 summons total if you count the tickets and you count the coins. Because I have 40 with the coins and 20 with the tickets. That, that would only get me at to like... Well, what, 76? And I've been at pity at 76 and got nothing. So for all of you that got an SS or above, congratulations to you guys. But this has been your boy, and don't if you like this video, man, make sure to like and share with anybody from the MHA community. And of course, don't forget to make yourself known and comment down below. Peace out and good luck. See ya.